Welcome to another edition of our youth of our YouTube channel. Today we are going to be discussing with you how you can actually gather, you can actually grow your small account into big account by this free strategy I'm about to teach. This strategy was not made by me, it has been of assistance for a very long time. But I'm going to teach you so that you can actually grow your account. Many people have already messaged me, send a message across to me on my Instagram account account and in my email they say they wanted to take my course but they can't afford it at the present moment that if they can get a strategy that can actually help them grow and this i've considered a lot that i'm going to teach you a strategy that you can use to get at least 40 50 pips per day that you can actually use to make more money per day so what you are going to do you must have been the type i wanted to take my course that you are frustrated, you want more money, and you want a result like this, or a result at this place, or a result like this. That most of these results you can actually anticipate what will happen. You can see the sniper entry on most of the results, and you are the type that you are already frustrated by the way Forest has treated you. You wanted to quit, you are ready to quit, you are ready to give everything up. Maybe you've blown your account multiple times, and you want something that actually that works or you can't afford it right now that's why i'm making this video for you that you can actually use to multiply your small account and there there is strategy that is of my own that is of very very cheap price which i'm giving you out for 80 dollars if you want to get that strategy you can actually message me via the email below this video or you can send me a direct message on our instagram handle that i just showed at the left side of the video and you can you can you can enroll for our main course where we are teaching you all our packages all the courses which we are because you are watching this video i'm giving you for 30 percent discount so what you are just going to do is write a message to this mail and write your name write the title of this video and you're going to say i want your full course for 30 percent discount then we are going to reply you if when we are available and you can also send that to our uh instagram account too by directing message us and say you want our course for 30 percent discount make sure you include the title of this video so that we might know that you get the discount from this video cheers so let's dive into the into the strategy directly So, the strategy is very easy. It's all about trend line. And what is trend line? Trend line is a line placed along the way the, the market is going. If the market is going up, the trend line is placed along the trend. And if the market is going down, a trend line is placed along the third and there is range too a trend line can be made as a range too but we don't basically focus on we use it on uptrend and downtrend but today we'll be focusing only on counter trend line what do i mean by counter trend line counter trend line normally trend line should be placed according along the trend but this time around is going to be against the trend it is very very evident that the market is in an uptrend at this area but what we will be doing is to find a way to make a trend line so that we can look for an opportunity to buy the we already know that this is an uptrend and is making is making an higher high higher low higher high higher high so we already it has been this higher higher low it has been evident that this is an uptrend but for this moment what we'll be doing is place a counter trend 
normally we should be placing a trend this way or this way but it's going to be against the whole trend which will be this way something like this this is what we'll be looking for opportunity to place counter trend i mean something like this and how will you know if you place your counter trend in a very right way there have been there have been many theory about counter trend some people say we use the body of the candle some people say we use the wick of the candle but generally a lot of people a lot of forest trader already concluded and um, by what we have already seen that we are going to use the wick of the candle and how can you be sure that your counter trend or your trend is accurate it must your your trend must touch or your counter trend must touch at least two candle week what is a week a week is the line the line you see above or below a candlestick let me show you what i mean by that when you see when you see probably a bullish candle and below it you saw you saw something like this below it this line you see below it is called wick different candle has different length of their wick some candle you see very small it's going to be long it's going to be longer and some candle wick is weak no, uh, uh, we, we are not concerned by the length but as far as it has a rejection it is called wick so when we connect two candle with wick when we connect two wicks together a trend line is is said to have been accurate or is is correct a, a trend line is uh, can be said is where two weeks are connected then we can say that trend line is a is good or it, it should be respected but when you just place a trend line maybe somewhere around there you you don't consider any week or anything or something like this or something like this you can't actually say this is a trend line a trend line is must respect two week you can see it respected this candle this candle you can see is the candle week at this area and it respected this candle with its week so it doesn't matter it can pick more than two week all you just need is that it must have a minimum of two weeks. You can see this another example here. It depending on what you want to trade with it, but it must have a minimum of two touches with the week. Okay. So the currency pair you'll be using for this strategy is GBP JPY and GBP USD. Why are we using GBP pairs? Because it's very volatile. A single GBP candle can give you can give you about five pips, while in some other currency pair, a candle cannot can barely give you two or three pips. So depending on what you are, the the GBP pair is very very volatile. And how we're going to do it? We are going to find we are going to be picking trends. We are going to be picking placing trends and counter trend and we are going to wait for a breakout this strategy is based on breakouts whenever we see a breakout we pick a trade at the next candle open that close once it close once we see a candle that opens above the trend trend line and close above or below it we are going to pick a trade i'm going to set a stop loss and a minimum of one to two risk to reward now let me dive dive back okay welcome back so we are going to dive into the entry how we're going to take trades our stop loss our take profit we must know this whenever we want to pick our our trend line we're going to pick 
minimum of two week minimum of two week and we are going to draw our our trend line if we are buying we must find a bullish candle that opens above the trend line and actually close above the trend line if not we are not taking a trade and if we are selling we must see a bearish candle that opens below the trend line and close below the trend line for example depending on what you want to pick or how you are seeing your chart make sure make sure any trend line you are picking the the the, the trend line is diagonal a trend line must not be horizontal or vertical it must be diagonal maybe 45 piece, uh, degree uh, 70 degrees um, all those degrees so we are going to pick one now so someone can decide to pick these two week you can see how diagonal it is this is almost three weeks one this two this three and we can see another person can decide to pick this is week and targets <coughs> this for a diagonal move for a clearer move in fact i advise something like this because you won't you won't be stopped out you won't be stopped out so for these two people depending on what you are looking at for this trade this candle this candle open above this this trend line and close above it so you are going to take a trade your stop loss is going to be 20 pips and your take profit is going to be 40 pips we only take we only use gbp jpy or gbp usd and our time frame is five minutes our time frame is five minutes it's going to be 20 pips and once your trade get to one to one risk to reward we are going to break even these 20 pips these 20 pips and target your one to one you can see so from your one to one here see one to one you can place you can just put a line around that area so that when your trade gets here you can see this trade go to the one to one you are going to break even what do i mean by break even you are going to move your stop loss to your entry points that is what i mean by break even your stop loss is going to be at the entry point then you can increase it to one to two now for this trade for this trade you cannot enter this trade yet why because this candle this bullish candle did not open above this trend line we must see the first bullish candle we see open above this trend line that is the candle we are going to use and let's see you can see a bearish candle let's see and now yes we found our first bullish candle we open above and close above it so we are going to take a trade instant execution we are going to calculate your 20 pips uh, 20 pips stop loss you can see this 20 pips uh, for you first identify your one to one that's the next 20 pips yes at this point you'll be looking to break even so you can just let's say let's identify it by a box around there they will extend this are uh, break even to one to two that's 40 pips uh, 40 pips it is at this point yes that's 40 pips so let's see how it plays out instant execution yes it got to a one to one once it gets to one to one what we'll do is break even and let the trade run <coughs> and <coughs> sorry and smashed <coughs> we got our first take profits so the next thing we are going to do is for this trade we can we can actually find trend line this way and wait for the break of this trend line or look for another opportunity rather for more buys or sell you can see for this trade okay. 
you can decide to pick this. It's still diagonal. You pick these two, but the the can there is no pull, there is no bearish candle that open above this and close. This bearish candle open below it and close above it. So the next thing we'll do is wait. We are going to be patient and wait. Yes, we see our first candle that open above it and close. So we'll take instant execution there. 20 pips. pips then we'll calculate our one to one first yes come please and then then extend your take profit to 40 pips so as soon as as soon as the trade get to this area we want to break even Yes, it got to this area. So what we'll do next is break even. So we'll wait and see how the trade plays out. Yes, eventually it hit our take profits. <coughs> so we can still put a trend line this way on this two week. I told you there are some week that will actually be small, and there are some one that you will see very clearly. So these two weeks. So we want to see maybe to break this and we we'll see our continuation candle. If not, we look for more buys. Yes. <clears throat> it's a good example. This trade breakout and we see the first bearish candle, this. So we are going to take a short instant execution, 20 pips. We'll first get our one to one. This one to one can use this to identify it and one to one. Then we extend it to 40 pips. Good. Yes, it's got to our one to one. So this trade will have moved it to break even at this point. And let's see. Double go back to our break even then. Yes. Smash our take profits. Smash our take profits. So <coughs> we have one, two, three winning trades. <coughs> So the next thing we'll do is place another line this way and see if it will break. And you must have this, you can hide more position. Look at this scenario now. This trade went up, you can you will have put a counter trend this way and wait for the breakout. And what happened immediately this breakout will have take a sell around this. On our 20 pips stop loss you can see how you see a lot of opportunity just almost almost uh almost in the same day this is the same day in just in a day now uh, let's let's identify the 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 beginning of the day and the end of the day so that we can see in just a day how many trip we will have pick let me see this seventh is twentieth of July. Okay, I think this is the beginning of the day. If we are placing an horizontal line, and this will be the end of that day. About to our five minutes. <coughs> so look at, and you will have target your forty pips. You will break even this way. See that? And 
as this trade was going up you can still look for more countdown trade more countdown trade this way and see how this trade has been respecting this counter trade with drew this one and two you can see how it has been respecting this area this place and this spot the third time now let's see what will happen we are going to take a buy here if we see a bullish candle open and close above this if not we wait for the break of this structure of this trend line so let's see so this trend line was broken so what we'll be waiting for is uh is a bearish candle good we saw one there's a bearish candle and we take a shot here 20 pips see I'll target on one to one. Two one. This will be our one to one. Then we we'll, we can just highlight it with a, with a line. And when it get there, we'll see it. Then we can extend this to our one, our one to two. That's forty pips. See how it goes for this structure for this trend line you can see this one trend line this is another one two i said whenever you see two two uh what is it called two two a uh, week you take a trade around that area you can see one week this second one this is your trend line and what happened it broke it you saw a bullish candle above the week let me take this out so that it won't be the, the chart won't be dead see you can see what i'm talking about so you can still take a buy as you are selling any opportunity you see you take it any opportunity you see you take it your stop loss 20 pips it doesn't matter once you get the right point, you don't you don't care. So you it's a game of numbers. That's why you are taking one to two. And you can highlight this area for your break even trade in case it might go against you. Then you extend your your trade to one to two forty pips. like that so you're on two trees any one that goes in your direction you are in profit now this trade is a losing trade this one is a losing trade already lost but this already got into your one to one so what, what you will do is to break even you break even so that you won't lose again and you continue to see how the market goes and it took it took the sell the buy and once this occur you can still look for your counter trend you can see we are already in the other day now we are trading in the other let's take two days and see how it goes this was your first bearish candle here your first bearish candle so you take a shot at this point target the one uh, 20 pips Twenty pips. I target your one to one and that 20 pips here you can light it once it gets to the points you break even then you sell them all yes one to two yes and 
you are actually buying here and now you see an opportunity to sell you sell you don't you don't consider anything you take the sell when you see a good selling opportunity you sell and started going in your direction yes break even this trade came back and hit our break even this is a this is a break even trade we already break even not to lose it almost hit our take profit then came down for break even but for this trade it already going to our one to one so what we'll do next is break even for this trade and see how it continues See how it continues. This is a break even trade, sorry. Yes. It our take profits and bank the, the, the next trade was was okay so this is how you take more trades and trades and trades continue to take more opportunity you continue to get more opportunity so you make a lot of people let's see how many wins we make and how many loss we take so as you can see if we count the total number of winning and losing trade from the from the day this will be one two three four five six seven eight we have two more trades to go we are taking ten trades two more trades to go so let's see we get Yeah, let me see. We can actually pick this. As our trend line space, and we can use this tool for trend line spots. So we are hoping any of the two that break, we we'll look for our, our entry candle. Then we are going to take a trade. Yes, it broke this. So we are looking for a bullish candle to open above. No, no open. Came back. Yes, we found the first bullish candle that opened above. So we are going to take a trade. And stand before this uh, uh, stand execution. This candle that opened and closed above it. Calculate our 20 pips. Is 20 pips calculate another 20 pips so I can break even, and this area will be an area for break even. Then we are going to extend this for 40 pips. Wait, yes, break even. So, the next thing we'll do is break even and see. It goes, yeah, break even trade. So, these are ninth trade. Is it? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, we are waiting for we split the last trade. Can I extend this to, to make it three touches and we make another counter, another trend line here. So we expect any of the two to happen. So wait. Yes. We'll have to take the trade at this spot. This counter open and close. So this will have been our entry. Calculate our stop loss, which is 20 pips. 20 pips is here. Then we'll calculate our one to one so that we can break even. So one, yes. So can I like this area? 
and extend it for and extend this for our one to two. All right. Yes. So all we'll be doing next is see. You can see it goes to our one, one to one. We break even for the last trade and wait for the and and lastly he hit our take profit so we took 10 trades we took 10 trades so let's see how many winning trades we have one two three four five five six seven seven winning trades we have seven winning trades seven winning trades how many losing trade we have one we only have one losing trade one losing trade and two break even break even means you move your stop loss to your entry so that trade came back and take you out but you do not lose any amounts so that's what break even means so we took 10 trade, 7 wins, 1 loss, and 2 break even. And at this current moment, we are just about 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. the second day. Just within 2 days, we took 10 trades and 7 winning trades. If on every trade you put 10% or 3 5% of your account on every single trade, that means you will be having, you, you will have made 70% of your account and you lost only 1 trade. So you will be having 60% of your account within two days you make 60 percent of your account within two days isn't that amazing so that's how powerful this strategy is very powerful this strategy so if you do not get any points you have to go back rewatch what i explain how i explain it and see how i pick my trades if you have if you want to learn understanding more you can send a mail to this email address below and tell me what is the issue about it then i can make a video to make it more clear make a comment and send a mail or you can just make a comment below so that i can i can make another video to explain it better if it's not if you don't understand it very well then our strategy which you can use to trade binary that's volatility index boom and crash and you, you can use it to trade currency peers you can get it at a, at a very affordable price of eighty dollars, so you can get you can if you need it you can send a mail to me and say I want your strategy for eighty dollars. But our main course, which is what we teach, basically price action with minimum of one to three risk to reward on every trade, and you don't need to be sitting to look for setup. You don't need to be waiting for one candle to open or something. You just wait for the trade to come and trigger your trade and go in your direction i mean i mean the trades that looks like it that i show in the first place that look like this or i look like this look at how the entry was was a sniper going to be sitting in front of your chart all day you get this type of you get this type of trades when you are room for our full course our full mentorship where you will be you will be having uh full-time mentorship you that's lifetime met mentorship you'll be joined to a community where we analyze the markets together we share our idea every weekend that's on saturday or friday before the market open we are going to analyze all the currency peer before the market open and pick our trade we we'll wait for a potential uh, market, potential area and maybe the market open will place our trade and forget about it then uh, lastly we are going to teach you a strategy that a minimum of one to three risk to work on every trade you take a minimum of one to three risk to work. very very accurate trades and you, and you can see how they are they are sniper you get them at the very sharp edge so if you are interested in this in for with this strategy or you want to enroll for this mentorship program just send a mail to us and said and tell us 30 percent discount on your main strategy make sure you tag the title of this the, the title of this uh, a youtube video so that we can know that you actually saw this opportunity from our youtube video 
because you are watching this video to the end and we are giving you a 30 percent discount on our main course which will be for you to enjoy more you can follow us on our instagram account where you can send us a direct message and send the same message if you want our full course we are going to reply to you immediately make sure you like this video and subscribe make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you might know when we are dropping our new videos hope this help you and hope it help you grow and multiply your accounts i wish you best of luck and success we only trade this strategy on G gbp jpy and gbp usd five minutes time frame cheers and god bless